Hello, I'm Dr. Nirmala Gonsalves, Assistant Professor of Medicine, Division of Gastroenterology, Northwestern University, the Feinberg School of Medicine. I'm excited to have the opportunity to present the findings of our study. Elimination diet effectively treats eosinophilic esophagitis in adults. Food reintroduction identifies causative factors to be published in the journal Gastroenterology. My co-authors are Dr. Guangyu Yang, Bethany Dorfler, Sally Ritz, Dr. Ann Ditto, and Dr. Iko Hirano from Northwestern. Eosinophilic esophagitis, or EOE, is defined as a chronic inflammatory or immune-mediated disease characterized clinically by symptoms related to esophageal dysfunction and histologically by eosinophil predominant inflammation. EOE has become one of the most common causes of dysphagia and food impaction in adults. It's been linked to food allergens in the pediatric population, and a six-food elimination diet, or SFED, has been shown to effectively treat EOE in children. This diet removes the six most common foods thought to trigger EOE, which are milk, wheat, soy, egg, nuts, and seafood. Food allergies as a trigger for EOE in adults has not been previously investigated. Therefore, the aim of our study was to assess the efficacy of dietary elimination with a six-food elimination diet in adults with eosinophilic esophagitis. Our primary endpoints were histologic response, and our secondary endpoints include identifying the culprit food through systematic reintroduction of food antigens, as well as assessment and symptom response and quality of life post-treatment. This was a prospective clinical trial from 2006 to 2010 done at a single academic center. Adults with a diagnosis of EOE based on current consensus guidelines were offered a six-food elimination diet as an alternative to topical corticosteroids. Patients who agreed met with a dietitian for education on strict dietary elimination. Patients also underwent allergic evaluation with skin prick testing for food and air allergens. After six weeks on the diet, they underwent endoscopy with biopsy of their esophagus. If patients achieved histologic remission, they underwent a systematic reintroduction of food to help identify the underlying trigger. Patients completed a dysphagia symptom score and quality of life measure before and after treatment. We had 50 adults complete the six food elimination diet and 20 patients have completed the entire reintroduction protocol with food trigger identification. Peak eosinophil densities decrease significantly after SFED in both the proximal and distal esophagus. Counts went from 34 to 8 in the proximal esophagus and 48 to 13 in the distal esophagus. After six weeks on the diet, 78% of patients had a greater than 50% reduction in their peak eosinophil count from baseline. 74% of patients had a peak count less than 15, 70% had a peak count less than 10, and 64% had a peak count less than 5. Dysphagia symptom scores decreased in 94% of patients after SFED, showing that patients felt better on the diet. And after the diet, there was a 78% improvement in endoscopic features. Systematic food reintroduction helped to identify the causative agent in patients who completed reintroduction. All patients had symptom, histologic, and endoscopic recurrence after exposure to the causal agent, and the median time for symptom recurrence was three days. Reintroduction of the trigger food resulted in an increase in eosinophil counts back up to baseline level. Characteristic endoscopic changes at baseline improved with SFED and recurred with reintroduction of the trigger food. So we have shown that taking away the six most common food allergens causes resolution of EOE and adding them back causes EOE to recur. This further supports a role for food allergens as a trigger for this response. The most common food triggers were wheat in 60% and milk in 50%, followed by soy, nuts, and egg. Three patients had more than one food trigger. Skin prick testing accurately predicted only 13% of causal agents, and the majority of patients with a known food trigger tested negative to all foods on skin prick testing. In conclusion, our study has shown that a six-food elimination diet was highly effective 
and inducing histologic, endoscopic, and symptomatic improvement in the majority of adult patients with EOE. Food reintroduction reinitiated features of EOE confirming a role for food allergens in the pathogenesis of EOE in adults. And interestingly, foods that triggered EOE were identified by systematic food reintroduction, but not by Stanford testing. Our study has important clinical relevance for several reasons. One, it offers a new therapeutic modality for adults with EOE as an alternative to topical corticosteroids. Second, it provides new insights in the pathogenesis of EOE, demonstrating that EOE is likely a food-driven disease with milk and wheat as the leading causative agents. And third, this study indicates that adult and pediatric EOE have similar responses to dietary elimination suggesting it's the same disease in children and adults, despite differences in phenotypic presentation. Thank you for your attention, and please see our full article in Gastroenterology for further details.